ko napapansin na utosan ako ni Mahal. <laughs> Nakawakawa ko to. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo naman yung papangyarihan ni Mahal. Alam mo naman yung papangyarihan ni Mahal. Siya si Ruby. <laughs> Production staff pala ako dito. <laughs> Nung nag-rehearsal kami for hosting, ano, nag-try-try talaga kami ng iba't ibang filter ni Mom Shizia. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tapos tinry ko talaga ang red na hair na filter. At sabi niya, bagay ko. Oh, sabi niya, Mom, itry mo ang red hair. Sinunod ko naman. Ito na. <laughs> Masunurin ako eh. Wala ka din pala sa sarili. Sa Hindi mo naman so, pinagsisihan. Uh, uh. Pero <laughs> talaga guys, kasama namin ngayon na fresh from uh, taping si Paloma. <laughs> Paloma! Di ba si Paloma secret agent? Oh, oh. Nakikita nyo naman ang kanyang damit, di ba? Nasa tigay pa siya ng taping. Nag-stunt pa siya. <laughs> Tumalun pa yan. Okay, right now guys, we are going to Magsaysay Farm. Yay! Park kasi. Park kasi. Park kasi. Park kasi. Park kasi. Wait lang. Wait lang. Send namin yung script sa kanya. Wait lang po. O sige. Ulitin natin. Ulitin natin. Take two. Take two po. Saan niya tayo ulit? So, right now guys, we are going to Magsaysay Park. Okay? P-A-R-K. Park. Pinsan ni Sondara Park. <laughs> Galing, oh, tapos, um, anong meron sa Magsaysay Park? Pakisagot, Jack. Tanungin natin sa nagbook. <laughs> Pass the baton to anong meron sa person na ano. Doon natin matututuhan ano. yung culture ng Davao dahil nandun yung tiyatawag na Kadayawan Tribal Village. Yeah. Oh! Sentro siya ng talaga mga so tourist spots ko. talaga kasi maglalakad lang tapos malapit na lang siya sa iba pang mga tourist spots. Kaya yun yung una so, natin. So meron mag-tour sa ating mga? So may tour guy? Si... Si Debbie. Ako pala yun. Ako pala yun. Kaya ngayon, si Debbie. Habang... Naging bodyguard din siya namin kagabi. Kailangan niya na mag-study. Nag-review na po siya kagabi. Shoota. Ako sa'yo, pwede mo na isa. Hindi, okay lang. <laughs> Kailangan natin ng content. Sa... Han ano? Handler po ako ngayon. <laughs> Ito, bounce. Bounce. <laughs> Oo nga, lakas makabounce nung dating niya Denim. Ang laki pa man din. Oh. Ang laki? <laughs> Hayop na yan. Pasintabi po sa mga nakakalam po, magkasama po ngayon si uh, Maha at ang kanyang asawa. Itago natin sa pangalang Kenneth. Kasama <laughs> ko po yung asawa ko talaga, dito po siya sa likod. Oo. Oh, oh. Sanay na po siya sa amin. <laughs> Hindi na po siya nabibig. Pero po parang kada ano, may, may bigla factor pa rin siya. <laughs> What if ilublob natin yung buong katawan natin sa yeah, chocolate? Yan, sige! Kaya alam niyo ba ang chocolate yung nakakatulong sa skin? Sige, okay, magamit mo yan! So ano yun? Kaya naging ganito yung skin ko! Oh. <laughs> Aray, so, ganito! So, so, yan, yan, oh! Nakatulong? As in! Nakatulong? Chocolate, ito dark, ito ano? Wala nang white chocolate dito. So kung ano daw yung kulay ng siko mo? Yun daw yung kulay na!
ayun na nga guys, tapos na kaming kumain for today's video and so far, ang masarap naman yung kinainan namin kanina, no? Nakita nyo naman. Sarot lang. Pipiliin namin. Here at Magsaysay Park. This is oh, Kadayawan. And here We're you about will to see enter the Kadayawan the... Tribal Village. Yes, Kadayawan <coughs> Tribal Kadayawan? Village. <coughs> here you go. And we are going to enter. Enter. The Bagobo Plata are known as forest dwellers and feared warriors. As one of the most elaborately dressed tribe and for their fine artistry, they live a very simple life. Fruit-bearing trees are their source of living and serve as their livelihood. They also occupy a large territory stretching from Catalunan, Pequeno, Pequeno, Tugboc District, Kalinan, and Baguio District. Yes. <clears throat> These are our the tribes. So, here guys, the Ata are known as the people of the mountains. And they are prescribed as naturally shy and kind but quick to anger. Kaya mag-ingat-ingat kayo, ha? Kailangan magpakabait. Called the Ata tribe as the people living in the upland areas yeah! merge with other tribes. Ata are also capable of organizing their own cultural practices. They are located in Pakibato District. Talaingod, tama ba yun? Dal, yeah. Davao del Norte, San Fernando, Kitao Tao, Kitao Tao, Kitao Tao, Bukid Nun, and portions of Buda. At ah, yan, ang Ata. Uh, so, hindi okay. sila sure. And next, musik mo na ituro sa akin yung Ata. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> talaga siya yung sampol. <laughs> next, malalaman natin, kilalani naman natin ang Obu Manubu. So, yung ata. Ay, okay. So, yeah. here, the ata. Okay. Yeah. Wait lang, nautot ako. Oto? Oto. Oto. Sino nga ba ang Obu Manubu? Ang Obu Manubu po ay isa sa pinaka matanda na tribe in Davao City. Obu, ang ibig sabihin ay people. And Manubu means dialect. Ayan. So, they are known for their fine weaponry and jewelry and their main livelihoods are kekeo, ah, social, and vegetable farming. <laughs> Tama sa kekeo. Mali sa vegetable. <laughs> Ang talino doon. Again, it's kekeo and vegetable farming. <laughs> Di pa talaga inayos. Oh, and, and, sa Davao daw, they can be found so, makikita sila in all highland areas. Ayan. Ano yung highland? Highland areas north of the Tamuhan, now Tamugan River. So, west and of west. Davao. Galing, no? So, particular do sila na nakikita sa mga area ng Magsaysay, Dalag or Dalag, di ko lang alam, Lumot, Salaysay, Marilog proper, Pantol, Malamba, Suawan, Tamugan, Tambobong, Carmen, Kadalian, Tawan-Tawan, Wines, Baguio, Malagos, and Gumalang. Indeed, as of this time. <laughs> These areas are heavily populated by Obu, Obu Manubu. <laughs> Ayan! Thank you very much, everyone. And syempre, next, makikilala mo na natin ang Matig Salog. Okay, Ma'am Shizia, it's your turn. Ipakilala mo ba? Di ba may role ka? Alam niya, pagod na ako sa akin. <laughs> Ipakilala naman ni Mama Shizia ang matig sa lug. Oo. Oh, oh. Matig. Anong matig? Ano Ayan. Ano, ano ang matig? Ang matig is a place of origin and the salug is a river where they came from their ancestors from. Ano ba yun? <laughs> Yesterday <laughs> from. <laughs> their house has small windows for them to nilam or alert for their mga yaw or person seeking justice. Ano pa yan? Nabi. Uh, sinasabi na their sources of living are planting native rice, hunting, 
fishing and collecting ng indigenous fruits. Dramatic salug. Have a simple way of life. As may kita rin naman natin dito. Ito yung itsura ng mga tirahan nila. Yes. So yun siya sabi na merong maliit na windows for them to ngilam. Correct. At ano pa yan? Tataposin talaga yan. Ayan, denim. Ano pa yan? Ano pa yan, denim? Saan na tayo? 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 Ituro lang namin kung saan. Saan? Sandali lang guys ha. Dito ka na. Dito na. Dito ka na. Dito ka na. Dito ka na. Dito ka na. Okay. Dito ka na sa Damatig Salug. Have a simple way of life. Damatig Salug. Have a simple way of life. The ancestral domain territory of Damatig Salug tribe. Ha? Ano? Tribe has 102,334.8 81.86 hectares. Pero pa kung tapos duly recognized by the national government last July 25, 2003 under certificate of ancestral ancestral domain ancestral letter letter T letter letter T kasi ay nangangawit ka kaya nagdesisyon ka maganyan. Letter T kasi kay Ancestral. So, hanggang sa Barangay Marilog and Malamba. <laughs> Yon! At yan na nga, no, uh, mga kabiyahe. Eto, narito tayo ngayon sa Davao. At na, na, na kilala yun. Bubuhayin natin yung biyahe. Kahit na po biyahe tayo. Buhayin na lang natin yung biyahe, ma'am. Para meron tayong entry. Oo. So, ayun, ay isa sa ating mga na... Ah, meron pa tayong hindi nakikilala. Kilalanin natin. Parang tapos na yan. Oo nga. Bag okay, meron pa dito. Bagobo, Tagabawa. Pwede naman sa So, I think... Ito yung ma-explain kasi. So, I think itatanong natin kay Sir. Kay Sir. Matagal ka na po rito. Local pala. Local pala. Matagal ka na po rito, Sir. Oo, baka gusto niyo po magrenta ng Salva Vida. May bishi ba rin? Kapi Vida. Sir, sino ang bagobo tagabawa? Ha? Sino? Sino po ang bagobo? Ay, hindi po ako taga rito. Alam niyo po ba sa nakatira si Bagobo, Tagabawa? Well, it's, it's interesting kasi yung word na Bawa sa Malay, it means down. Oh. Sa Bawa is south. Do you want Bawa? Ah. I want Bawa. <laughs> so, kilalani na natin. Sige na. <laughs> Yon, the Bagobo Tagabawa means people from the south as Tagabawa is referred to as south sa language nila. Uh, they're known to be protectors of Mount Apo as they're located in the foothills of Apo Sandawa. Yun yung local name ng mountain which is also the highest peak in the Philippines. Itong mountain na to is very valuable sa mga Bagobo Tagabawa dahil sacred siya para sa kanila. It's also a place of worship ng mga Tagabawa people. At mostly found to mga Tagabawa people sa Toriel District sa Davao City. But the entire area of Bagobo, Tagabawa stretches from the Toriel Lipadas River to Makilala, North Cotabato. Ah. Ano pa ba, Maha? Yes, at hindi lang yan, no, mga kabiyahe. This tribe is said to be one of the most intelligent native tribes in the Philippines and also the most colorful and handsomely dressed pagan in Mindanao. The Bagobo Tagabawa. I know as well as the best dressed among the indigenous community because of their colorful and unique clothing, well educated, seamless designs. The beadwork design is called Pangulabe. The designs are derived from their visions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional customs of their environment. Bagobo Tagabawa is also considered to be the most intelligent native tribe in the Philippines. Their language is Bagobo, and their customs are derived from their traditions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional customs of their environment. Bagobo Tagabawa is also considered to be the most intelligent native tribe in the Philippines. Their language is Bagobo, and their customs are derived from their traditions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional customs of their environment. Bagobo Tagabawa is also considered to be the most intelligent native tribe in the Philippines. Their language is Bagobo, and their customs are derived from their traditions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional customs of their environment. Bagobo Tagabawa is also considered to be the most intelligent native tribe in the Philippines. Their language is Bagobo, and their customs are derived from their traditions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional customs of their environment. Bagobo Tagabawa is also considered to be the most intelligent native tribe in the Philippines. Their language is Bagobo, and their customs are derived from their traditions, dreams, and emotions, as well as the traditional Magkaulab. Biyahe, born to be wild. Asan yung anima? Born to be wild. 